on, man. Use your signal. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So make sure and check out ToyHex.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. Big shout out to my son from Dylan's Toy Box for helping me out with that intro. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Road Rage. Now Road Rage here is a Target Red Card exclusive. And I gotta give another huge shout out to channel member Alex Dunn for finding this figure for me. I have no targets anywhere near me, so I did not think I was going to be able to get this figure. So Alex, thank you so much. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We got Transformers here on the side, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. You got Road Rage right there behind the plastic window. And as usual, some fantastic wraparound artwork showing Road Rage in her vehicle mode and robot mode. On the back of the packaging, we've got Road Rage in vehicle mode, flight mode, and robot mode. And here on the side of the packaging is more of that fantastic Kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Road Rage opened up out of this packaging and check her out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Road Rage all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see she does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. She also comes with this little black pistol and this blue double blaster slash missile rack. So now, let's take a closer look at Road Rage herself. Now, Road Rage here is a repaint of Kingdom Tracks, which I really had a lot of complaints about. If you see my review on Tracks, you'll see that when I got him, he only came with three wheels, and I really, really didn't like the guy because these legs are terrible. These little sections right here are very loose, and to me, that really detracted from the figure. Now, there is a fix for that, which I applied to Road Rage here. Her legs were exactly the same, so I gotta give a huge shout out to Larkin's Lair who showed me how to fix these. And there's a link to how to fix those legs right there above. Now, something different that I did opposed to what Larkin did in his video is when I removed the leg section here, I actually boiled some water. So I dipped this section in boiling water and then squeezed it together which made it come together a lot easier. So these panels now line up a lot better than tracks. Of course, I still need to do that fix to Kingdom Tracks. Now, the big difference between Road Rage and tracks is the different head sculpts. So you can take a good look at them right there. I actually really, really like Road Rage's head sculpt. She actually has that Fembot look that is really, really good. I mean, Hasbro, you really impressed me with that one. So she does have that going on for the rest of the figure, exactly the same as Kingdom Tracks, except for, like I said, the new paint scheme. Now the weapons she came with are the same that Tracks had as well, but I think what I'm gonna to do to make her look a little different than the way Tracks is supposed to look is I'm gonna take her 
double blaster and actually attach it to the forearm here and of course put her pistol in her other hand that way she can look a little bit different than tracks other you know of course bright red new head sculpt but still it kind of makes them look more different if that makes any sense and man she just won't stand up she is a little back heavy just like kingdom tracks was so a really cool looking figure but i still have issues with her the same as kingdom tracks because i am not a fan of the way they did the legs i mean you got the feet right here attached to this other panel and even though i fixed it a little tighter it's not great so that's pretty much it for c very very back heavy i'm not even gonna edit that out i need to show you guys that stuff so there you go there is road rage in robot mode let's take a look at her compared to tracks in flight mode so here we have road rages flight mode and it's okay just like kingdom tracks the front is just full of gaps because this just will not tab together now i do like the fire logo a lot better on road rage than i do tracks here i think that just pops and looks fantastic i also like road rages more smoky translucent windows opposed to tracks that are more clear or actually they are a translucent light blue but they almost look clear against the blue of tracks and my god look at the hood gaps on tracks so of course you can put the weaponry on the back of the flight mode and that's pretty much it it's just a neat little gimmick a throwback from the generation one toy now let's go ahead and get her transformed fully into vehicle mode pretty easy just fold the wings back get those wheels in and pop that arm right off i love mushroom pegs so we'll get back that back on and let's finish getting her man okay that's an issue okay let's try this again third time's a charm fold the wing down then bend the arm down and just bring that panel up should click right into place do the same thing here on the other side there we go and we'll go ahead let's remove the weaponry flip down those tail fins and there we have road rage in vehicle mode and she doesn't look bad at all i actually prefer her vehicle mode to tracks i just that flame decal or that flame paint application excuse me there on the front just pops absolutely hate these gaps this it will not peg together i mean i've got it pressed where it's supposed to be that little pin right there is supposed to be flush but it just this side will not tab in so that sucks so here is road rage in vehicle mode compared to kingdom tracks and oh my gosh i cannot stand that i had such high hopes for this figure when it first came out but yeah i gotta give it to road rage as far as vehicle modes concerned i like her looks better but still such a crappy design so there you go guys there you have kingdom road rage in vehicle mode now I'm going to give Larkin's Lair another quick shout out for this awesome tracks upgrade set that he gave me, including this new rifle and new missiles here for the top. This makes him look a lot more G1 accurate. Of course, you can take his old missile rack, put it right there on his back. I think that looks great. I actually did a full review on that set. And if you want to check that out, just take a look at the link above. So now what I'm going to do to really change up the looks of Road Rage, I'm going to take her double barrel blaster off her arm. We'll go ahead and take Trax black pistol, attach that to her forearms. Take her black pistol, attach it to her forearms. And then we're going to take the blue double barrel gun and just give it to her as a handheld weapon. So now she has like null rays. So I think that looks really cool. So once again, Larkin, thanks for the upgrade.
The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom target exclusive Road Rage is a pretty cool figure. I mean, I have the same complaints with her that I did with Trax, just not as bad since I actually squeezed her legs together, but still, not a fan of the legs, not a fan of the transformation, but that's just me. Now, I think she looks fantastic. The color scheme just pops. Absolutely love the head sculpt. And man, you can't go wrong with adding more Fembots to your Autobot ranks. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to all my current channel members. It's support like yours that really help my channel grow, so thank you so much. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!